And we have our countdown, three, two, one, pills. And they're off. Take a look at Razor's board in the center here as he starts to play on medium. Look at those blues. Yeah, they're really uh, just clumped up in the center. And uh, unfortunately, they're just adjacent to each other, whereas John's board's way more open. So I, I really like his board more to start here. Yeah, definitely. Although Razor has this nice combo in columns two and three raining down. But that blue is going to be a problem as John already takes a nice lead. Um, small pill lead, but nice board health lead. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's gotten many blues, and now he's become very dependent. He's really going to need uh, some blues to come up here to open up this board so he can get through this level. Yeah, but Razor has nice uh, nice foresight with that, um, that horizontal with the yellows, and uh, I think maybe taking that double blue and putting it straight down the center to open up the red would have been good, but now has that chance, and the red is open in the center of the board. Yeah, at least he had the option to use a blue-red to open it up, which he's done. Uh, John, though, already out of four. He's heading into five now. Right, and heading into five at an unknown time, because I can't actually see his timer. Didn't realize that. That's true. Uh, I guess he just <laughs> wanted to make it extra exciting for us. <laughs> they did start at roughly the same time, so we may have to go back and time that if it's close, but... Uh... So far, things are okay. Meanwhile, Razor is still looking for all of that, uh, all of that blue. Luckily, he's going to start getting some. Yeah, thankfully. is. Unfortunately, in a situation like this, you're really just at the mercy of what, how fast the game is going to give you the blues you need or whatever color it might be. Um, and it's just, not, uh, it's just not working out for him right now. And he's got plenty of space to put garbage in case RNG doesn't cooperate with him, but he's going to be out at a 148. Meanwhile, uh, John Nash has opened up a 16 virus lead. Again, lots of good RNG for John. Really nice way this level is set up. And he has lots of options. Notice he can take this blue in the first row horizontally. And yeah, clear out in the center of these reds. Great yeah. play from John. Absolutely. Razor's board is looking a lot more favorable than it was on his level four, thankfully. A lot more color variety going on. Uh, hopefully he can start to bring this back. But John's already almost at a five here. Yeah, he just needs that one more blue. I think Razor was trying to tuck that double blue uh, down there in columns five and six, but he's already cleared up the, uh, the garbage caused by that. Meanwhile, John into level six at about a 230 something so he's looking great oh his timer's back up <laughs> i didn't know perfect like, oh yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> <Woo -woo. laughs> oh wow oh. yes he's gonna get the l here. oh that was beautiful, beautiful. you, you perfect gotta love timing. it and now oh john's making great decisions here the the way he placed that pill to set up for the double blue coming i'm assuming he saw that in the next box because that's exactly how he played it as if he had yeah that's great. I mean, and on high speed, you can't always guarantee that you've seen the, the next box by the time you plan that move, but he's just been uh, doing awesomely. Meanwhile, Razor down to nine viruses on his level five, looking really good. He, he does have a game that's exclusively in columns one and two, but because of the diversity there, um, nice move with the tuck. Uh, he shouldn't have too much trouble chopping it down. Yeah, so far his end game is looking good. He can get uh, this yellow horizontally, and then he's set up to have a blue fall down in place. Ah, this yellow red dropping might stifle that a bit, but uh, luckily only yellow is blocking it, and he doesn't need that for anything else. So, but John's going to be out at of six at three forty-seven, I believe I saw there, um, and he's heading into the final level now. Yeah, and uh, we are looking for. Uh, times around the five minute mark to be uh, really excellent times for this block. Um, basically, everything's a hot time right now as uh, Razor gets out of level six at a 4.05. Um, so we got a lot of hot times coming anyway, uh, but uh, this is going to look really good for John. Yeah, he can gonna... get some blue. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say that. I mean, we haven't been doing the silver bracket for more than this is the second month we've been doing it. So uh, the the the, <laughs> right. the the hot time leaderboard is ripe for uh, some people to claim some hot times here. Exactly. Razor dealing with the same story as he dealt with in the first level. Look at all this blue on the top. It's not as crunched as it was before. You see him uh, making a lot of rotation. And that's common for newer players to, to keep thinking about it, keep rotating. And so as he uh, as he approves 
over the course of his time playing in the brackets, he'll make those decisions a lot more quickly. Yeah, an early thing uh, that you can do to improve for sure is to, uh, I'm not sure if he's doing this or not, but to move away from flipping with just the one button and learn how to use both um, when necessary to keep things speedy. Yeah, it sounds very silly to say, but everyone has been at that point where they're still flipping with one with one rotation. So Yeah, I can just flip it all the way around, Savage. Why do I need to use more than one button? That just sounds I, like yeah. a lot of work. Yeah, and uh, as we're saying that, John is out at a 527. Uh, I know I was going to say that's a good time, but we don't even I don't even really know because I we haven't been doing this for long enough for me to really think and know this level range very well. Uh, well I'm just trying to look and let's see what the hot time is. I mean, it's currently the hottest time ever in this oh, uh, in this level block. So, you know, oh, whatever. Well <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> nice job, SpongeBob. I mean, John. Or Bob Esponja. Is that a, is that a comment on his shirt? Yeah, he said it was a um, SpongeBob shirt. Oh, really? Okay. It's, it's very tropical looking, but I had no idea. Yes. Uh, it's, but let's be glad it isn't a bikini bottom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and uh, as Razor finishes up here, has to um, the combo or the the pill that he placed did drop down that yellow, um, but now he's only needs a couple more yellows to be out, and he's out at a six forty one. Yeah, which is coincidentally also a hot time. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> So we're gonna be we're gonna be calling that a lot just for fun. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more exciting when everyone gets a hot time every single time, right? <laughs> it's it feels good. Oh, except <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize he wasn't. He's still doing level seven. It's okay. I, that was my mistake. Uh, the th first time. <laughs> ah, whatever. Hey, are you trying to replace me with someone with good puns? I don't think those exist. And uh, Razor is topping out, and they're going to get ready to start their second game. John hoping to get to round two, and Razor hoping to get his first game win in a Dr. Mario bracket. Okay, RNG was not super kind to hit Razor in the first game, so let's hope things turn around for him here. All right, we're going to wait for readies from both players. Right, and three, two, one, pills. Notice our lovely Dr. Mario bot is calling that countdown. And uh, you can ask the Mario bot for all kinds of things, brackets, uh, Discord, so feel free. Yeah, I believe it will link you to the wonderful Dr. Mario monthly site where you can see a lot of historical data about past tournaments and hot times and things like that. Very useful if you... Uh want to get an idea if you were trying to get into speed running have an idea of what sort of times are are up there and what uh, what you might want to aim for yeah and look at this razor's taking an early lead uh already out of blue here now has a beautiful fat log opportunity he can clear that out oh i'm really praying for that for him yes yes look at that beautiful <laughs> fat log for razor amazing uh nice over on the other side um John's struggling a little bit, not not finding yellows, uh, running completely out of reds now. Yeah, he's he's going to need that. Um, and also that blue up high. I wonder if he's going to tackle it last, even if the blue comes just to avoid the drop time. Uh, yeah, he can always use blues in the meantime to sort of build a little platform just in case it takes a really long time. But uh, that's not, not going to happen. He's going to get out at a 114 here. Yeah, and Razor just got out just a tiny bit ahead of him. So um, hopefully he can keep up that lead. He did just, looks like he had a mistuck in uh, column 
five there uh, with that yellow red, but not sure. Yeah, it may have been a misflip, may have just been slid one space too far. That uh, I find that often happens uh, in NES, maybe? I don't know. I, I've, I've had it happen to me before, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Now, look at Razor. Just struggle. I mean, like, look at all this red. Can we just, can we just get some nicer RNG? For a first-time player in the bracket, I would, Savage, I would like that. Savage, you should know as well as anyone that the doctor is not our friend. Uh, <laughs> anyone who's played this game long enough uh, should be under no such illusion. <laughs> good point. Good point. Because uh, Razor is getting blue yellow, which is exactly what he does not need. But really nice combo here uh, in columns seven and eight. And oh, that was an excellent uh, avoiding that misdrop um, in columns four and five. Yeah, there's something. It's always awesome when somebody avoids a misdrop just in the nick of time. That's uh... <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. Meanwhile, excellent fat log for John. Almost a log out. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that term a... was invented this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to be out. Uh, I think that was about two thirty-two, something like that. That's uh, a very good pace. Yeah. Yeah, he's just doing really well. And this uh, this level looks pretty good for the start. Now, he is going to have to deal with this very flat top, is John, but uh, looks like with some well-placed blue-yellow, he can uh, he can open things up. And meanwhile, Rays are still working on this uh, all of this red. Yeah, he's unfortunately really being denied the pieces he's looking for here. A lot of blue and yellow when all he wants is a red. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, that blue in column three, I think, is going to take a little while to clear out, uh, giving John some time. He might be working on this sweet, sweet tea, but he's got to get the right oh, piece. He really wants a yellow red to finish that so he doesn't create any garbage. So he's putting all these yellow blues off to the side, clearing these viruses instead, hoping beyond hope. Okay, oh, double yellow works too. Good. There we go. Beautiful. As Razor is getting all of that red he needs, he's going to be out at a 343. Wow. Just a screen filled with yellow and blue there. Un unfortunate. This is a nice opening board for Razor. Uh, he's trying to set up for that horizontal um, Oh, I like that. Blue. Yeah, that's going to be a really nice move. Yeah, he just did not want to wait for the blue-red, and honestly, at that high up on the screen, I wouldn't either. I agree with that. Yeah, that was a good move. Nice combo from John to open up this yellow in column eight. And now he just needs that one red. He is out of level six at a 414. So he's right. he's on pace to match his performance from yeah. last game. Absolutely. He's only one level away from taking it. I don't really love this opening board for John, though. It's fine, but. Did you just say it's fine before I did? I don't know if that's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk later okay uh, all right but uh, <laughs> uh yeah I, I i saw a lot of variation on razor's board but it's kind of dried up sometimes that can just happen if the pills uh if you just get a steady stream of the same color suddenly all those viruses disappear and your nice varied board is suddenly very uh very monocolored one thing that's interesting is you saw that that uh, blue-yellow, he didn't have a place to put it, um, but he did put a blue-yellow in a... He sort of threw it away in the corner, uh, Razor did. So um, not sure what that is, but now he has opening for a red-yellow uh, combo. Meanwhile, John uh, is a full level ahead, so he is going to finish out pretty soon. It's not going to beat his hot time from last time, but it's certainly going to be pretty great. Yep, already clear of yellows, almost clear of reds. Uh, five viruses left to go. Is he going to prioritize this blue on the right? He is, to so make sure that all of his viruses are exposed. And now it's just a matter of time and RNG. And here he goes. You just gave him the commentator's blessing. He's out at a 547. Congratulations to John. That's going to be 2 for him. Yeah, and uh, anything, as we said, anything under six minutes is a really top-notch time. So. Um, fantastic work from John, an excellent debut from Razor. Honestly, being out of that first level uh, ahead of John, our previous, I think last year's silver bracket champion, no easy feat. So you've got a good future ahead of you. Yeah, absolutely.
All right. So we're going to take a quick break and we will be back with our very next match.